are strong. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. I can't remember the last time I did a sneaker video. So this is partially a sneaker video. I caught three new pairs of kicks. I'm gonna be honest, I've always wanted to do videos like this, but I always get caught up in posting Madden and Fortnite that I never do it. So if you guys are interested in stuff like this, I really am too. So if you like it, I'm totally gonna do more. But basically, I recently bought a ton of new clothes for summer and for the start of fall. We're kind of halfway through summer as I'm gonna post this, which is why I got some fall clothes too. Either way, in total, I spent a thousand dollars I'm gonna be walking you guys through what we got I guess so in front of me is a box that includes two things I ordered half my stuff from one website and the other half from Nike so this is the big Nike box additionally I have a box of shoes right here we'll get into that later and this will probably be a long video so sit back and enjoy now I'm not just gonna unbox my clothes and that's it I'm gonna talk a lot about what I wear and why I wear it and outfits that you guys can wear too because I'm actually like I really like talking about this stuff clothes are like so cool to me the most common questions on my videos aside from like stupid ones are like where I got a certain shirt or where I got a certain hoodie whatever it is that I'm wearing and the MMG sneaker collection video has like 500,000 views or something so I know you guys probably care about this either way if you enjoy this type of video make sure you drop a suggestion on the next one some comments and some likes would be awesome too I think I will start out with a banger and I will start out with a pair of shoes a pair of shoes which isn't even in the box I am talking about these Gorgeous babies right here. So these are the Nike Vapormax Flynets. They are so crispy. I love this colorway. It's kind of like icy blue slash gray. Now for most people, you should not be buying a ton of color. Most of the clothes you should get should be white, gray, or black. For me, I do white, gray, black, and then blue sometimes. I have a lot of blue. Anytime I wear shorts, I pretty much wear these. But for example, like right now, with jeans on, I would not be wearing these. These puppies will run you like $200 though. So they're expensive. I absolutely love them. They're not a shoe that I'd recommend if you're like trying to buy other stuff too. That was actually just an aside. That's not, not part of the unboxing. So I'm gonna start by unboxing all the brand new stuff that I just got, which fell within that $1,000 range. And then I have a couple other like things that I've gotten recently, but not all in this package that I wanna show you as well. So let's just start right here and see what we got. Oh, I want to start with this one. So I have opened this box up already, obviously. I didn't just uncut it. I wanted to make sure all my stuff was in there and all the sizes were correct before I started. But I have not taken this out of the package yet, and I'm really excited to do it. So this bad boy... Now, I will make a point before I go any deeper. With clothes, you kind of have two options. Let's pretend your budget is $200 for all your clothes that you're going to wear for the year. That's honestly kind of low, but I totally understand that a lot of people don't spend a lot of money on clothes. There's really two options with clothes. You can either buy a lot of clothes that are cheap and not have any super nice outfits, or buy a couple of really nice outfits and kind of bum it on the other ones. So for my whole life, pretty much leading up until this year and last year, I went with the cheap option. I would always go to TJ Maxx. That place is the plug. I would just get shorts and shirts from there. I'd wear whatever shoes I had and I would look okay pretty much every day of the week. What I started doing now though, and I think is a lot better, is having a couple of really nice pieces of clothing and then not really caring on the other days. Monday through Friday when I go to class, I virtually don't care what I look like. So I wear whatever's in my closet. But if I'm going out Friday night, if I'm going to try and impress someone Saturday, or I'm trying to impress someone in the class, I always have like three really solid outfits I can go to. So that's the approach I went with with this. There's not a lot of clothes in here, but each one's pretty expensive. So back to the good shit. This is the Nike N7 hoodie. This thing will run you $70, but I I have always loved N7. Actually, in my sneaker collection video, I was wearing the 2016 edition of the Nike N7 zip up, and this is the new N7. So the N7 for this year has a tan and black look. Every year, N7 does a different color scheme, and I'm really excited to try this on. Oh, that is. Damn. I am a huge fan right now. The fit is perfect. I'm a medium, and sometimes I get mediums that are like too long or too big in the shoulders. I'm not fucking jacked, but this is a perfect fit. I love the stripes on the arms. It looks so clean. I don't even know if that's in the frame of the shot, but it's shorter here than it is here. That's fire. Good start. Also, confession, if you were gonna ask about the shirt I'm already wearing, um, I bought it in Budapest when I was there. <laughs> Next up on the Nike list is shorts. Oh, wait a second. These aren't shorts, but these are nice. There are very, very few ways 
to not look like a homeless person when you try to wear sweatpants. There's not a lot of good ways to do it. Joggers are sometimes okay. I think people abuse them a little bit, but the really the only way you can go about looking okay in joggers is if you are a 10 out of 10 male specimen, and that ain't me, so I don't really shoot for that. So I got the Nike Thermal Running Pants. These things are super nice, and they actually look pretty good. I don't really know how to do this justice here because you can't really see. Does this work? Does that work? I don't know if that works. Super comfortable, and they don't look terrible, so this is gonna be my option for when I'm lazy as shit in the morning, and I'm late for it's class, but also there's a cute girl in my class. That's gonna be how that works. Next up on my list is a primitive long sleeve that I got from Zoomies. For one, Zoomies is my shit. Zoomies has fire clothes. Now, I'm not talking about like Hurley surfwear. I'm talking about the actual nice stuff. So this right here is more or less, I guess you could call it a party shirt. <laughs> <laughs> the primitive logo. Ironically, if you guys have ever seen the MMG merch with my MMG right here, totally inspired by Primitive. I love how this logo looks. It's just really just simple cursive, but it looks sick. This shirt is something I would probably wear to a party or to the bars when I'm 21. It's like halfway between really nice and not, because if you just took the collars away, it's a really simple long sleeve and it doesn't button all the way up. So I really like this. Oh yes, I'm going with this next. Now that I'm unboxing, I'm realizing how much primitive stuff I actually bought. This shirt is so cool. I don't know why I like this shirt so much, but it's absolute fire. <laughs> It's so simple on the front. It just says primitive and then it's this. I also think it's like, this is gonna sound so lame. I don't know how to say this. It's kind of like edgy. It sounds so stupid coming out of my mouth. This is like dead center. And I don't know why I thought that was so cool, but I just really liked it. And on the back, it's just, it's just this Chinese bitch. If you guys watch my videos, I wear one of like four colors, black, white, gray, and blue. I love blue. I have way too much blue in my closet. It's what I wear like every day. So I finally bucked up and got yellow, the only color I don't have in my closet. That's not an exaggeration either. I literally, this is the only piece of yellow anything I own. Super similar style. The back of this thing is some dope ass Japanese warrior dude. Like this, I love this shirt. I'm sure you guys hate it. It's a long sleeve too, which I really like. This might be something I wear to class too. Either way, this is definitely one of my favorites. What else is in this giant box? Oh, this, yep, I'm definitely doing this next. These are awesome. I'll save the two pairs of shoes in there for last. This shirt, I'm not gonna try it on, because I've already tried it on, but I love this thing. This this goes right along with the sometimes. You Sometimes you gotta break your fashion quota. When I was in high school, I literally only wore Nike. Nike shirt, Nike shorts, Nike shoes every single day. And like, when I look back on it, I hate myself for doing that, because I know I could've switched it up and worn some stuff I like better. Probably would've gone over better with the girls. Dude, I don't even know what the hell is going on in this shirt. There's like a dude and he's boxing the universe. This, as of right now, is one of my favorite shirts. Definitely wouldn't wear it to a party or like to class to impress people, but I do love this shirt. I now have this in black and I have it in kind of like an off-white, kind of like a tan white. Not gonna try them on because they fit the same as shorts, they just look better. And they have this nice like material up top. I love these things. All right, next up, actually, you guys are gonna love this because I am giving this pair away. Now, I didn't want to put this in the title or the description or anything because I just wanted people who actually watched the video to see this. So if you made it here, thank you so much for making it here. You now have a chance to win the shoes in this box. These are size 10. So if you fit size 10, awesome. If you don't and you have a huge dick, unlike me, then I'm sorry. So all you gotta do is go find me on Twitter. It's always linked to my stuff and just shoot me a DM. Say, hey, I'm a size 10. Could I get it? I will respond to one random person who's gonna get them. So these are the Air Max 90 Premiums. <laughs> ordered was actually supposed to be the 4th of July edition one and I was totally gonna wear them on the 4th of July but they sent the wrong colorway. This colorway is like a brown tan and light blue with a little bit of purple right here. It's, it is a colorway I have never seen in my entire life. It's actually pretty crazy. So if you're interested, find me on Twitter. Next up is a correct pair that I actually did order. These are the Air Max 270s. Go, cause she can't arrest me. Walk away my Tully, what they do? Meet me in the alley with the troops. So 
Oh, they made one edition of the Air Max 270s, which is this colorway right here. They were limited and I had to get them. So all black up front, it's got kind of like a salmon pink back here and then camouflage on the outer sole. So it's got kind of a salmon pink here and then it's camouflage on this like heel portion. So sick. I love these things. So these I would not wear very often despite being very black. These are like for a pop of color, just a flashy shoe to wear. But what's nice is they go really well with the shorts I just showed you. So for an example, an outfit might be these black shorts. I could do this black primitive shirt. As of right there, I have virtually no color other than a little bit of red on this. And then the all black Air Maxes with this big pop of like like the salmon color and the camouflage. I just think that looks so cool. Final thing I want to show you, to prove I'm not a hype beast, I copped the full outfit from a House of Hoops and it is, I, this is my favorite outfit right now, no doubt. Like I was saying, sweatpants shorts are the move. So first thing in this outfit is these. They are comfy as hell and they look so much better than wearing basketball shorts, guys. And I got with it the matching, this is the Phila t-shirt hoodie, huge. Personal favorite of mine is t-shirt hoodies. I have, so this one, obviously, and then I have a black Adidas one. I think it's all black, it just says Adidas right here. Cuts off right there. You can wear it in the summer because it's like a t-shirt. It is kind of thick though, so it's kind of like a bonfire thing. Leave your opinions in the comments. Pretty sure half of you are gonna absolutely hate this, but this is one of my favorites right now, so. Gotta include that in the vid. The final thing I'm gonna be sharing with you guys in this video is the skull box that you've been seeing this whole time. This one came in from Sneaker Pirates. So they actually said they'd send me a box of one of their pairs of shoes as long as I shouted them out in the video. So we're definitely doing that right now. Hey Matt, hope you enjoy our Sneaker Pirates mystery box. The regular pack includes a pair worn and endorsed by the weekend. That's kind of sick. So the regular pack is $40 a month and the premium pack is $80 a month. Basically they'd send you a pair of shoes once per month. So this is gonna be a collab sneaker. I have not looked at this yet, so I'm kind of excited. And we're just gonna pop it open and see what it is. It's a Puma box. That's interesting. Not gonna lie, I'm not a big Puma guy, but I'm still interested to see. Holy shit. Bro, these are actually fire. Puma X The Weekend V2. way better than I expected. I'm not gonna lie, when I saw Puma in the box, I wasn't too pumped, but these are really nice. Oh man, the smell. I could get high off the of fresh shoe smell. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Jeez, these are clean, dude. Sneaker Pirates, you outdid yourselves. I love them. Thank you guys so much. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this uh, unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I thought that was really fun, and I will totally do more videos like this if you guys are interested. I feel like everyone does back-to-school clothes shopping, so if you guys want me to do a video like that, I'll 100% do it. I'll actually go to the mall, and I'll bring someone to film with me and, like, talk about stuff. So that'd be fun if you guys want to see it. That's it for now, though. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, as always. Peace out, guys.